Our Gulf Coast MakerCon 2014 coverage is proudly powered by Kraos in the all-new Kraos Meteor, your voice and gesture-controlled smartwatch. Get fit and stay fit with activity trackers, make and take calls hands-free, send and receive text messages, and you can wear it however you want. Change it up to suit your style. Best of all, it works on iPhone, Android, and Windows 8. Pre-order your Meteor now at f5live.tv slash Meteor. Welcome to the show. Hi guys, how are you doing? Great, Absolutely how are you? Great. I'm doing really good. This is a lot of fun. All right, go ahead and introduce yourself for us. I'm Brian Johnson of Johnson Arms Replicas and Props, and uh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I do custom Nerf guns. We do 3D printing now that it's become real prevalent, and uh, just finished up on three different projects that were 3D printed and culminated with a replica weapon from a movie that previously would have just cost way too much time and money to make, and now it just costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, our last guest before we went to break also does props. And the two of you are sharing a booth, one big Yeah, we, we move in a pack. Because <laughs> I would imagine, especially in Tampa, it's a pretty small community. It is. <laughs> There's people hiding that you don't realize until you've been here for years. And you go, oh, you've been here too? <laughs> but it is amazing. There is a lot of people here that do whatever their part is but it's it we've kind of developed a little community so person's really good at this part i'm good at this part and we all work together where no one person could be good at all those things and it's just it's cool you know you start to realize how like jim henson pulled everybody together you know right because he never would have done that by himself you know way way too much and way too diverse of things for one for one person so what aspect of the creation of these these replica props and these custom Nerf guns and things is the thing that you're the best at, that you enjoy the most. Oh, hands down, it's the painting. The painting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I <laughs> would give up everything else to do the painting because, one, it's what I've done my whole life. Okay. And just I like seeing it when it's done because you can take something that physically looks right, but it's gray. You can paint it horribly and it looks sloppy and looks awful, but if you paint it just right and get the weathering and everything just right, it, the most fun is seeing people pick stuff up off the table thinking it's going to weigh 20 pounds and realize that it weighs one pound. You know? <laughs> and then you know you've done your job because they anticipated it being heavy because you tricked their eyes. Because the material looked yeah. different exactly. than it is. Exactly. You know, it, it's cool. A uh, very good friend, Joel, who's been on the show multiple times, uh, I was watching him over there when he was messing with the guns too, and he's holding them, looking at the detail. And I'm just amazed at how well you made whatever material you're using at the time just painted so well. Like there's a lot of attention to detail, and it's it's, it's impressive. It's re repetitious practice and screwing up, and screwing up is better than doing it right the first time because you'll just do it the same way every time and never learn anything. I've learned more by screwing up, and some of my best secrets that I'll never tell are ones that I've learned through messing up because sure. although I believe that no one has ever done anything original ever because someone else has had to have done it, just no one's ever cared about this particular effect and still I you know, said, wait a second, this looks cool and I used it right. and now all the time people are like, how did you get this effect? How, how does it look like that? It's like David Copperfield, man. You, know, <laughs> you can hire me, but I ain't telling that part. But the painting bar none is the most fun it's it it's the biggest leap even from creation to a physical thing to hold the difference between that and holding it when it's done is just you know it's like a baby you know and at that point if it's something that no one's ever made physically before it is that one time where you go i'm the first person holding this gun from this game because it's never been a physical thing right and uh and now with 3d printing it's just you know <laughs> It's still kind of expensive, but if you get the good group of people that are good and everybody's free and everybody wants to work together, right. you can make helmets and guns and just, you know, anything you want, and it's and it's awesome. You, know. you, you've really got some impressive stuff over there. Well, thank you. Uh, and, and what I liked was uh, when, when I first came over there, there was what I think we both assumed to be a father and two sons. Right. <laughs> And the one kid asked you, so can we buy these on your website? <laughs> your answer was fantastic. I don't remember what I said. You said, <laughs> yes, but don't. <laughs> they're, they're, they're far too expensive. Oh, that's Here's funny. what you should do. Learn to, 
Learn to make them yourself. Especially at a maker's fair. Right. You know? That's why <laughs> I never sell anything at these fairs. And I don't, honestly, when I do conventions, I prefer to walk around with, like, one of the recent creations. Sure. You know, something yeah. big and massive and BFG crazy. You know, because it just, you can walk around. It's just like carrying a flag around the floor. They could always see the tip of my barrel four feet above my head and easy to spot. But it also allows me to walk around and people go, oh, what is that? And I'd stop and I'd talk to them and I'd continue to walk. Sure. But I get to enjoy the event instead of sitting in a booth all day and going, man, did you see that cool thing? Did you see the fighting robots? I'm like, nope. Well, yeah, from 50 feet, but it was a bunch of heads. So I've always enjoyed walking around, not trying to sell stuff, because I've always believed in the adage that you do something you love, do it enough, do it well enough, and people will start throwing money at you and saying, I want that so bad, give it to me. We we, <laughs> we call that stealth boothing. There yep. you go. Okay. <laughs> now, and you'll notice I'm wearing my, for the people listening, I'm wearing a Cortana chip from Halo. And most people don't even know what that is, but the people that do, they don't know that that's a physical thing that you can buy. And right. Like, oh, I have to have that. And I'm like, I happen to make those. You know, but <laughs> just by wearing it, Good I get news, more people buddy. asking. Yeah. <laughs> but they sit at my house, and if I never told anybody, they just sit. But it's just advertisement and kind of walking around. But they seem pretty nice here and, uh, you know, haven't, haven't been tempted to sell. But when I told that kid that, it's really because I don't sell to kids. But the other side of it is that, you know, I love seeing what they come up with. And as long as they don't make it look dangerous or not leave an orange tip on it, then I'm okay, that, you know. That, you don't want to get parents mad. Right. That, that, that was something that you said while there. Make sure that you've got the orange tip on the barrel so everybody knows that it's yeah that it's a, a prop. They say that no, what is it, uh, basically where no matter what, it's good. You know, any kind of publicity or any kind of, you know, buzz. Yes. Like any Lindsay publicity Lohan. is good publicity. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Not always true. I yeah. you're responsible that for I a kid that got don't. shot. Not That's gonna it, be positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely don't. It's really cool I though that. <laughs> that there's a, a huge presence of prop really great prop making here in Tampa. And you don't really think of that when you think of Tampa. And we were talking to someone off camera before the show. You don't think of Tampa as a maker place. You don't think of Tampa as you know a software sector. You don't think of Tampa as these prop places. And now we have all that in one spot, which is cool, number one. But number two, it's quality. It's good stuff. It's not just, oh, someone just throwing things together. And that's yeah. commendable. I, I think it's great that there's a, a love for this kind of stuff here in our, in our space, in our home, in our backyard. Oh, yeah. Well, I always thought I was at a, a disadvantage being in Florida. Come to find out, no, it's not. You know, almost everything can be ordered. And it's fairly fast. It's fairly cheap to get it. You know, all that good thing. But there's still plenty of stores to go and, and find what you need today. You may pay a little bit more, but I'm going to the shop with it in my hands. Right. And I'll pay extra all day long if I don't have to wait three days of working time to get the sure. one little thing that I need. So, yeah, Tampa's right. awesome. You know, and I think it's just going to get better, too. The you know, more people hear it, they're going to want to merge into it. And, and it's, it's exactly what both the uh, Community Innovation Center and the ta Tampa Hackerspace are trying to do is make Tampa a place for things, you know, <laughs> which people have always thought that it's not. I mean, uh, the Tampa Tribune was here earlier. The, the, the girl that we were talking to didn't know that uh, Wikipedia was founded here in Tampa. Oh, okay. And uh, he left because of that perception that Florida is not a right place for things. Well, you always think California, but with me being here, they pay me California money and I spend on Florida bills. You know, and and that's not that Florida's cheap, but it is in California and it's not New right. York. I was saying it's sure not New York. Yeah, <laughs> but, but when they see a price, it's like if you know somebody from Europe they convert to the euro or the British pounds and they go, I'm already getting a 25% discount. That's true. And so I don't have to cut my prices. It's just, it, it's nice, you know. I never thought having a weak dollar would be good, but as long as they don't keep making my peanut butter and stuff more expensive, <laughs> I think I'll I think I'll think level out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I get so, ahead of my bills. So, if, <laughs> if somebody is interested in seeing the products and props and things that you make, how can they see that? If you go on to Google and type in Johnson Arms Props, 
or Johnson Arms Nerf, it'll bring up pages and pages. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it honestly, and it probably is better than just going to my website. Okay. Because I'm on Facebook and DeviantArt and YouTube. And I'm anywhere that I should be, I think I am. It's just that between doing that stuff and making stuff at the shop, I always do the shop. So there's certain places where I update more often. Sure. But if they find me on Facebook, that's where I can post photos every day and show updates. And it's super easy to do. It yeah. really is. And I'm, and I'm about as interactive as I think anybody can be because cool. I know how important that is. And I've always hated sending an email that I took an hour to put together and then you never get a response. You right. Know, that, that guy read it at least, you know, yeah. or did right. not see it. Right. And so anytime I get even the, you know, one that's clearly a child that's asking about something, I'll respond it. Try to respond. Like that's I'm, awesome. Uh, you know. Mr. Rogers, <laughs> you know, because someday that kid might go, and my inspiration was this guy that painted toy guns, you know, yep. and I'll go, what, you know. And I had a question, delirious. and he responded to me, and I, and yeah. I took it the ball and ran and with I've it. I kept that's, it in my pocket that's really this cool. whole time. And, you never know. And, 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 and that kid <laughs> becomes the, the person who's responsible for the, the individual weathering on the, the new ride at Disney. Exactly. Or, you know. As long as he's not the, the weather bot that will paint automatically. I'm okay with printers, but don't make it paint. You know, don't paint well. <laughs> I need that. That's my thing. You know, that's, that's your thing. That's why I sit there and go. You guys get really good at making models and printing them, because all I want you to do is sell them to me so I can paint them. <laughs> you know, I know where to pay money and I know where to do it myself. Very good. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, thank, thank you, you so much. Uh, awesome stuff. I just between you and and the the guests before at the same booth obviously but it's just cool to see props i, I need to go Absolutely. check it out before we get off the air i haven't been able to, to same same physical space but right different different <laughs> different take on you things, guys got really my cool. phone number and my yes, email so absolutely. if you ever want to come over and see the the chaos that is my shop it's uh it's probably more exciting than i see it but it's it's got you know and it and if i'm not mistaken you're fit. close to us right I'm, we yeah, said I'm that clear okay cool yeah all right well so, we have to love to take you up on that. That'd be cool. We're thank holding you, you to it. Thanks for coming by and talking <laughs> to us. Thank you. Brian, thank you. Johnson Arms Props. Go check out that website for sure. That's that's some cool stuff. I like that. Yeah, I like it.